let's move on from the floor part of the debate to the quick fire round. And as we talked about earlier, each team has three minutes to use to give a question, to make a point. And when they, when they finish speaking that, that point, the other team's clock starts ticking. So we'll start with the clock for the proposition. And let's uh, hear a point from the proposition to kick off the quick fire. Thank you, Eunice. I think you're very brave. You're the only audience that speak up. And I, I, I like your, the way you face the, the challenge for us. Oh, sorry, I'm supposed to stand up. Okay. So maybe let's help to answer the motion again. So because the, the question is, the House believes that the policy in Singapore are crafted considering Singaporeans first. So from a proposition angle, actually we believe that the government, if not the House, already set a lot of policies due to the ground sentiments favouring Singaporeans first. So our stand is we have already done a lot and should we go on further to benefit Singaporeans at the expense of Singaporeans, Singapore's interests. So you're right. Are we being myopic? if we just want to protect our local citizens against foreign competition. At the end of the day, we want Singapore to grow. And can we grow internally? Can we develop one iPhone, so to speak? Can you invent a Toyota car? Can you produce anything from your own resources? And not forgetting that Singapore, we do not have any natural resources. The only resource we have is our brain juice. So. I tend to agree with you, Eunice, that it's a bitter pill, it's a medicine that we need to swallow it hard and uh, allows competition to drive our innovation. Opposition, please. Um, it's very interesting. Uh, Sherwin actually decides to say that uh, we've actually done enough for Singaporeans first. Uh, when this is actually a concept that came up just August this 11th. So it's amazing that Sherwin now believes in, in less than three months we've actually taken care of Singaporeans first. I would like to actually know how. Before I, I answer your questions, right? So um, there was a point mentioned that actually Singaporeans are underpaid somehow or rather maybe in the higher sector, those uh, professional sectors, we, we are, uh, the foreigners are paying higher than us. And somehow you also mentioned that um, in other countries, um, the, the governments are actually protecting their local people uh, from competition as in uh, university places. So uh, I would like to clarify um, and seek clarifications on, on which are the countries that are actually doing so. That means they are, they are trying to limit their university places uh, to foreigners so that their locals can go in. I thought most of the countries would do, will do otherwise because they would like to bring in the foreign talents into their countries so that they can increase the talent pool in their universities. I suppose you, you heard of brand names like Harvard and Cambridge. Had they done alone just by allowing their own locals to go into the school, would Harvard become the top school? Would Cambridge become the top school like what they are today? I suppose they leverage on the top talents from individual countries as a melting pot in the school to increase their international standing, not forgetting that foreigners are actually paying higher school fees than the local schools. So with that aspect, I I think most countries will not go into the approach by, limited, by limiting university places just for their locals. Um, I seem to see how uh, attracting foreign talents is actually Singaporeans first, firstly. And secondly, uh, our point being, you said Cambridge, very excellent example. Even in Cambridge, right, locals pay a much lower tuition fees than um, the for international students who come in. So our point being, in Singapore, uh, international students actually can get away with paying same level of tuition fees as the local students if they sign up on a service obligation that allows them to work three years. So it's almost like I get a university seat uh, at the same fees as a local student, plus uh, three years job guaranteed uh, when I come out of university. So that, I cease to see how that is actually Singaporean first. Thank you. Uh, Brandon, for giving so many examples that support our view that uh, policies are crafted uh, with Singaporeans' interest first. You have to understand that increasing the number of spaces in universities uh, without changing the ratio does not uh, 
necessarily uh, address the grouses of Singaporeans, which is they do not want. They want to have priority. They want to be first. Okay, they want to be first in universities, first to be accepted. And uh, the examples given, uh, we know cheap labor is good for Singapore. It's in Singapore's interest. Okay, but doesn't create more jobs for Singaporeans, does it? It doesn't, right? We would like to urge the proposition to please focus on your motion. You're supporting the motion that says that uh, policies are crafted considering Singaporeans first. Please do not score your own goal and help us by uh, pointing things that uh, shows that policies are crafted in support uh, of our position which says that Singaporeans' interests are taken care of first, re regardless of whether Singaporeans are taken care of first. Thank you. Um, and I think as, as just uh, one last uh, thing that I have in mind is, I think I remember the second speaker actually saying something with regards to uh, job policies and job creation and stuff. Um, what is really interesting is uh, with the EPAS um, argument, you know, despite the increase in the salary grade, uh, just two days ago there was an article by the head of SMC, uh, sorry, Small and Medium Enterprises, coming out and saying that they would still continue recruiting um, foreign workers because uh, they've already been trained. Uh, uh, you know, it makes more sense for us to retain it. It's a marginal increase. So these policies really beg the question as to how they are uh, Singaporean first. I think that while they on the surface seem Singaporean first, uh, the, imp uh, the implementation and the implications of it have to be relooked, really.